Oh, he's drinking again. I think he should be drinking. Okay, this is why I'm talking about this. <laughs> This is, I'm just telling you guys the stuff that drives me nuts. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I don't know if I'm left or right. I just like talking about stuff that bug me. God, I can't believe I'm talking about her again. I can't believe I'm talking about her again. I need a drink first. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I go into the beer and wine store today. The wife calls me up and says, can you get some beers and some wines? And she's having a tough, I won't get into it. Work's kind of rough for her right now. There's weird stuff going on at work. So I go in there and the lady behind the till goes, uh, yeah, starting tomorrow, we have to put our masks back on. I'm like, no, what? No, really we do. Bonnie Henry said we got to put some, put our masks back on. I said, what do you, that doesn't make any sense. I got the vaccination. I didn't want to get the vaccination. I got the vaccination because I didn't want to wear a mask anymore. I got the vaccination because I want to go on a trip. I want to leave here. I got the vaccination to protect the vulnerable, the old people. Remember that? Hold the line for 12, 15 days. Remember that? Why did we do that? To protect the vulnerable, the people in the care homes. That's why we did it. We held the line. We did good. We got vaccinated. They said I didn't have to wear a mask if I got vaccinated. So I got vaccinated. I didn't want to get vaccinated. I don't fully trust the vaccination. Anybody that does, I think, is a, a loon. All you have to do. And it's not the same kind of vaccination. It came out in nine months. It was experimental, guys. It was a fast thing that they did. Nobody even really knows and stop talking about the science, about the vaccination, because you don't really know. It was fully safe. My 11-year-old and my 8-year-old would have been vaccinated by now. Don't tell me it's fully safe when it was an experimental kind. Of, you don't know what the thing is going to do. Vaccinations sometimes take 5, 10 years to study and develop. They came out with it quickly. I don't have a problem with anybody that says they don't want the vaccine. I don't blame them. And isn't it funny that the government has instituted that you're basically the devil if you don't get the vaccine. You're the devil. Who do we, who do we protect? We don't have to protect the old people anymore. They've came up with something new. we got to protect the children. Have you seen the stats of children dying? Have you seen it? Google it. Google it find it i've seen it hard to come up with even a number so now all of a sudden i guess the unvaccinated that's who we got to protect we got to protect the unvaccinated now and the children that aren't really dying from it if you're unvaccinated you have the right to not take the vaccination is this not canada where's our freedom this is why we have Canada and America. Freedom. That's what makes them the best countries in the entire world. You got to have freedom. You can't make people, you can't punish people for not getting the vaccine. You can't do it. But they're doing it. If you don't get the vaccine, you lose your job. Can you believe we've come to this? Everybody in this country has a right to be unvaccinated. And they have a right to go to a restaurant being unvaccinated. It's up to them. If they want to get sick, if they want to get COVID, they have the choice. They have the choice to get sick. You're allowed to rip a baby out of your stomach at nine months. Kill the baby. Murder the baby at nine months. You are forced to have something put into your body. It does. That's only been around for nine months. It's amazing to me that we just sit back and we allow governments to tell us what to do. We allow doctors to tell us what to do. 
in, assuming that doctors are the smart one. They're just people. They never signed up to run this country. That's what we got mayors for and premiers and prime ministers and presidents. Why are we listening to doctors? <laughs> the doctors are running our country, are running our world. So Bonnie Henry, and I know you guys don't want to hear about Bonnie Henry. I go home today. I go home because I'm like, that doesn't make sense. She was at a football game without a mask. She's not going to tell all of BC that they have to start wearing their mask again. So I brought up the uh, BC Lions game, okay? BC brings back mandatory masks in public. No, not that one. No need, Dr. Bonnie Henry comments on decisions not to wear masks. She's at a BC Lions game, I think August 20th, okay? She's not wearing a mask. Not a big deal, right? Masks are important. She's not wearing one. You know why she's not wearing one? Because she's a doctor. And she she knows she doesn't have to. Because she got the vaccination. In fact, we only got one shot in BC. She said the one the first shot is 95% protective. The one shot is basically, you basically don't even need to. She's got two. She knows she doesn't have to wear a mask. But she's going to tell you all of British Columbia to wear a mask. And she's not wearing one. You want to hear the reason why she's not wearing one? You got to listen to this. This is her out. BC Lions, BC Dome, okay? I've been there. Henry told reporters that most people at the event wore masks when heading outside. The retractable stadium roof was also open, which made the game an outdoor rather than an indoor event. Because the roof, way, way, way up, wasn't on. It made it an outdoor game. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> BC Stadium hugs you. You're indoors. But this is how she gets out of it. I got to show you a picture of BC Stadium. Oh, yeah. Look at all the selfies. That's her. This is what she's doing. No mask. That's not six feet away. No oh, mask. No oh, mask. Yeah. That's the lady that just said we have to put all our masks on. Four days ago. She wasn't wearing one. Look at that. Nobody wearing a mask. This is BC Stadium. It's a tiny picture, but can you even see it? I don't even know if it's going to come up. doesn't matter. But look at it. Look at the roof way up there. And air, it's just hugging you. The stadium hugs you. But you know what? It's okay for Bonnie Henry because it was an outdoor game. So when all the restrictions come back this winter, you know, you just open your windows, guys. Open your, I got a sliding glass door. There's no five people restriction. I could have a hundred. I'm outside. I'm going to open up all the windows and all the doors. And we're going to call it a inside outside party, right? I don't know. If we're going to go by her logic, this is the shit that bugs me. That we're listening to her and you guys, we, me, we do nothing about it. We allowed it. I, I'm not putting it, don't make me put a mask. I'm not putting a mask back. Obviously, I have to put a mask back on, but I sure don't want to. You're, I, I, do you believe it? You got to put a mask back on? I'm vaccinated. You got to see this. This is why I got the vaccination. Listen to this. We're in step three right now. In step three, 
you can only enter step three. If, and step three is no masks. Step three, if you're vaccinated. Step three is at least 70% of the population has one dose. Don't quote me on this, but I think I'm dead right. 83%, 83% has a vaccination. Do you see how the, they go back on, on what they said? And I said this a long time ago. I knew they were going to do it. They're not going to, they don't want their power taken away. Keeping restriction restrictions in is more money in their pocket. More books to be written. 70%. We will get to stage three. We will go to stage three if 70% of the population has at least one dose. Well, it's like 83 now. Stage four. We're not going to stage four. Did you know that? We're not going to stage four now. You want to know why? I don't know why. This is what it takes to get to stage four. Step four. More than 70% of the population is vaccinated with one dose, along with low, low case counts and low COVID-19 hospitalizations. Have you guys checked the hospitalizations right now? Do you know how low the hospitalizations are right now? I don't even care if they're high. It's the unvaccinated people that are in the hospital. It's the unvaccinated people that are sick. They have every right. They have every right to live that way. I'm vaccinated. Why do I have to put a mask on? To protect the unvaccinated? Does that make any sense to anybody? Of course it doesn't. Because we're allowing doctors to run the country. Wave four. That's what we're at. Next year it's going to be wave five. I guarantee you our masks are not coming off until April of next year. (laughs) Something will happen with travel. We won't be able to go to Vegas. This ain't going away. Like I said, a long time ago, over a year ago, it's not going away. They're not going to give up their power. They're not. Why would you? Why would you if you don't have to? The mayors and the premiers and the, Trudeau, they're they're allowing them to run the country. They're not running the country. These people are. Who is running the country, really, if you think about it? It'll be wave five. And why do we have to continue wearing masks? The Delta variant, right? The Delta variant's out. Then it'll be the Foxtrot variant. And in a few years, it'll be the Zulu variant. The Zulu variant's out we got to shut down the economy. I had somebody tell me, I'm not going to get into it. No, I have to. I had somebody tell me that uh, the economy is booming. No, it's not. Okay, the economy is terrible. Don't tell me the economy is booming. Well, everybody can get a job. Nobody wants a job. Do you know how much money we got? Do you know how much money the government in Canada has been giving us? Why do we have to work? That's why there's so many jobs. You don't think we're going to pay a price for this? Of course we are. Anyways, the wife just got home and she's not going to be happy that I was drinking wine. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so uh, bitter. Nobody else cares. It seems like. Like a lot of people don't. That's what it seems like to me. And I shouldn't have have said that. Of course people care. Maybe I just care a little bit too much. That's what happens when you retire, right? You're focused on everything else. I got nothing else to focus on. 
going to do a live stream tomorrow. I know you, I don't even know when I'm going to post this, so you don't even know what tomorrow is. Tomorrow's Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. What's up?